Hello and welcome into this week's RNN Diecast Review right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's Diecast Review, it is the final Cup Series Diecast of 2018. We finally made it through the 2018 season. We still have one more truck to look at from 2018. That's the Timothy Peters Talladega win, but that's still, I think, I think it's less than a month out now. I'm not really sure. Um, they offered it so far after the race that it it's super delayed from where everything else is. But for the Cup Series, this is our last Cup Series diecast, and I'm pretty sure we're done with Xfinity as well. So let us take a look at the box here. Just your... Standard Elite box, Elite window box, nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary here. And then on the production sticker, they made 509 of these. So, pretty big number for an Elite. Um, honestly, I don't think I've seen a number that high for Elites on anything except for Chase Elliott wins, which are about double that. Um, and then the... Watkins Glen win, his first one was like four times that, but uh, other than that, usually you don't get numbers anywhere near that on Elite, so I I don't see these getting very rare anytime soon. Uh, Cup Series winner sticker, the what I believe is the final bag of confetti we will get in a raced win, because if I remember correctly, they are not putting these in the 2019s. So, green, black, and white confetti for Monster. Generic Elite COA. And the race detail car, Joey Logano Ford EcoBoost 400 winner, November 18th, 2018, 21st Cup Series victory. And on the back, Logano in season with a win and a championship. You can pause to read that if you want to. All right, so on to the main attraction for this video, and it is the die cast, and it is a uh, really, it's a good looking car. It's not the, it's not the best looking die cast of 2018, but it's a good looking car nonetheless, and for the significance of it, it is a cool die cast as well. Got to find a way to pop the hood open here, because uh, for once, they actually had the hood sit in here really well so uh end up having to poke something through the bottom here just to get it out under the hood still doesn't open very well uh it doesn't open very far at all uh shell and pins oil powered by four take a look at the elite engine detail if we can get enough light in there on the nose few pieces of tape on the grill ford fusion number 22 and your typical Ford Fusion nose. This, I believe, will also be the final Ford Fusion um, as well. So a lot of uh, a lot of finals here. Last bag of confetti, last Ford Fusion. Uh, confetti down the left side of the hood. Pins oil and shell on the hood. Monster Energy banner across the top of the windshield. And you notice here, uh, the banner kind of goes up at a diagonal here, kind of as a sunshade. Coke logos around the camera pod, number 22. Nothing on the back of the roof. Roof flaps do function. Have to hold the antennas in here. They've almost made the holes too big for the antennas now. Um, we had a problem where they weren't making them big enough. Now I think they're making them too big, and uh, they don't want to stay in there. See, that one kind of flops around there. So I, I applaud them for making them big enough to put them in, but now I think they've gone too far in the other direction. DIN number 73, Logano on the back windshield. Lots of sponsors here on the deck lid. And this also should be the final uh, short spoiler here. So we got a lot of finals with this car. Um, some historical significance with this car, far beyond uh, what you would expect. Uh, take a look at the fuel cell detail there in the trunk. Down the driver's side. Rubber buildup here. On the left front, very scuffed up left front tire here. Uh, not sure where the white stuff would have come from. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. I don't know what what's with all the white on here. I don't know if that's from him just like um, 
getting congratulations from other drivers on the cool down lap and then uh, giving him a little door bang. I don't know what that actually is from. Contingency sponsor, Snapchat logo, championship four, number 22, discount tire, AAA in front of the rear wheel, cloth window net, the uh, David Pearson Memorial sticker, Joey Logano on the name rail, three winner stickers, sponsors down the B post, AutoZone and SKF on the C post, Shell Pennzoil, Auto Trader, and you can kind of see Snap on there on the quarter panel. Left rear tires chewed up, and as you can see over here, the right rear is chewed up as well. Uh, blew both of those out in the burnout celebration, then kind of um, blew out the fender here a little bit as well. So some cool detail there as well. Lots of rubber build up here around, around the... I cannot talk today. Around the left rear. Man. <laughs> All right. Uh, on the back bumper. 22 crew, Shell, Pennzoil, Ford, and number 22... And then down the passenger side, more rubber buildup back here behind the right rear tire. Uh, but otherwise, uh, was there a Ford logo on the other side? Did I miss that? There was. I completely overlooked that. Um, lots of rubber buildup here around the right rear. Uh, but otherwise, fairly standard and pretty much the same as the driver's side. But that is your look at Joey Logano's Homestead winner from 2018, the race that won him the 2018 Cup Series Championship, his first Cup Series Championship, first of um, what I think will probably be a few more. Um, I hate to hazard a guess on how many, but I don't think this will be his only championship. Um, he's been so strong since he got with Team Penske, I think there's going to be uh, many more with that team as well, but, uh, good looking car here. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I have it just kind of as the set. I have all three of his winners from 2018. I'm not really a Logano fan, but, uh, I do have all three of them just so I can have the set from his championship season. Um, I think that's kind of a cool thing to have in my collection. Um, if that's something you're looking for as well. Like I said, they made 509 of these in Elite. I don't know how many they made in ARC, but I assume it's at least as many as that. So there's there should be a good number of these out there for you to find. Um, I don't see these getting rare anytime soon, but uh, in case they do, I would recommend snapping one up as soon as possible if you can. But uh, yeah, good looking car. Next week, uh, we have one last 2018 Cup Series car to look at. You can uh, guess what it is. I'm going to leave it as a surprise, but it will be the final Cup Series car we look at from 2018. So um, if you want to make a guess at it, uh, leave it down in the comments below what you think that final 2018 Cup car will be that we look at next week. And then uh, after that, we're going to start getting into 2019s until that Timothy Peters truck shows up. Then we'll round out 2018 with that and continue with 2019s. But uh, that uh, is what the future looks like here on the Diecast Review. Vegas coming up this weekend for all three series. Uh, final race of the first round for the trucks. And final race of the regular season for Xfinity. First race of the playoffs for the Cup Series. They're all over the board in Vegas. Um, lots of things happening there. Lots of drama um, and then Arca's in Salem this weekend, which of course we will be there Saturday night uh, under the lights at Salem for the 106th Arca race at Salem Speedway. It is their throwback race. There's some cool stuff there. Venture Duty Motorsports bringing a lot of throwbacks as well. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a few others there as well. But uh, I know I've seen the Venturini ones so far and they look pretty nice. So um, as usual on Twitter, we will have a paint scheme preview. We started that at DuCoin, uh, should have that again this weekend. I really enjoyed doing that. That's been something I was looking at doing, uh, for most of the season and had just never really gotten, uh, a lot of opportunity to do it. But now I think I'm going to start doing it, uh, hopefully for the rest of the season, uh, give you an idea of what the cars look like, um, in that race, especially for those of you that may not be able to see the race on TV because you don't have MAV TV or whatever. Um, at least it gives you an idea of what the cars look like, especially on a night 
like Salem where it's a throwback race where the cars, uh, where there's going to be a lot of special paint schemes, a lot of cars looking slightly different than uh, what they normally look like. So uh, keep an eye out on Twitter for that at RNN underscore all underscore access. But uh, that uh, is everything coming up this weekend. I do believe rewind shows, of course, for all of that. So should be for rewind shows this weekend pending. Uh, nothing crazy happens. So look forward to that as well as coverage from the track at Salem. So if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. While you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do. But at that, this has been the RNN Diecast Review. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.